to go. The round, round two of the championship kick started here in Austria and didn't take too long at all to light the blue touch paper. Locking up from many and a wide run through turn one, including for John Falb, who was later on penalised for overtaking or benefiting from a much wider run on the exit of turn one and gaining that extra momentum. Then a frightening moment for the team Virage car of Rob Hodes, losing it under braking and smacking into the side of the Alessandro Bressan driven one aim Vilorba Corsa. Ligier, two cars out on the spot. Uh, neither of which could be repaired, of course, because um, even though they weren't missing wheels, su uh, significant suspension damage was done to both cars. Then the early pit stops for United Autosports and their 22 and 32 cars. Out of the third corner went the 26 machine, continuing to go well in the hands of Roman Rusinov. There was a spin between Mikey Benham and Rory Pentonen. I think kick-started by some contact, but far more brutal contact on the exit of the corner. Jean-Baptiste Lehay attempted an overtake on the 25 G-Drive car, but that didn't quite come off with the Frenchman having to skate through the gravel. Windscreen wipers starting to appear at about one o'clock, but before that there was contact between a Iron Lynx Ferrari and the 32 for Manuel Maldonado, racing experience spinning at Turn 1 as well. But this was the big moment of the race with so many cars losing it at Turn 7 and with many LMP2s reliant on their aerodynamic downforce on slick tyres, just aquaplaning, straight lining off the track through the gravel. And in the case of Jot van Aertert, doing big damage to the front of the 32 car, he actually lifted the tyre wall off the ground. He hit it with such force. The run up towards a much drier looking turn three. This was the moment where the lead changed in the favour of Louis Delatraz, a slight error that had happened on the previous lap for Franco Colapinto maybe offered a clue to Louis Delatraz that he would have his best opportunity of taking the race lead at turn three and a lap later he did just that. Vincent Voss very happy indeed to see the WRT car take a second victory of the season and a late, late pit stop but even that was illegal as far as Graf were concerned. It meant that Cool Racing's Matt Bell would take the race win in LMP3. GTE honours going the way of AF Corsa and Manu Collard, Francois Perodo, Alessio Rivera. The biggest round of applause though, uh, going to Team WRT with their winning squad of Robert Kubica, Louis Delatraz and Yi Fei Ye in the number 41 Orica. Team WRT winners, Cool Racing winners and AF Corsa with the lights flashing also get a big trophy in GTE. Confirmation of the race result for round two of the season, 149 laps completed and Belgian team WRT are the winners again. G-Drive though with a good points haul, not only in the pro part of LMP2 but also in Pro-Am with each of their cars, while well, second in pro for the 26, winners in Pro-Am for 25. Racing Team Turkey, Ultimate, Edex Sport complete the top six. LMP3 is one, surprisingly, because I'm sure Matt Bell didn't quite expect the, the late pit stop that was necessary for car eight. At the moment, car eight is displayed in third. We think it's highly unlikely that that uh, car will retain third position and a podium finish. But Cool Racing, Euro International, definitely cemented into a podium spot. And GTE going the way of AF Corsa ahead of Spirit of Race with their 55 Ferrari. And in third position, Iron Lynx 